All the stars of Formula Racing today started in karting. Ricky Flynn made it as far as winning the British Formula Renault title in 1991 before lack of funds prevented him from progressing further. Instead, he returned to the karting world and for a quarter of a century has been helping young racers towards their goals. We're basically the first step on the ladder for the youngsters um, in their racing career. We're trying to obviously hone them, teach them, educate them on all the aspects of racing, data acquisition, racing lines, racing etiquette, and obviously trying to win races with them in preparation for them moving onwards and upwards to, I guess, their ultimate goal will be Formula One. His current crop of youngsters have the same passion as Ricky for karting. I love karting because it's low to the ground, there's a lot of people on track and you get a huge adrenaline rush when there's the drivers around you. The racing, like overtaking some guys and going fast through the corners, it's really nice. The adrenaline, everything, it's so cool. I love the speed, the tension. It's just the whole experience of being away and you learn a lot here. Many think it's just sitting in their car and just turning on the steering wheel, but it's a lot more. We have a lot in the neck and the arms. We need to build up good condition and everything. Ricky Flynn and his team are meticulous in the way they prepare their race carts and their drivers in a sport where the European scene is extremely competitive. We've got the engine guys, we've got all the mechanics, then we've got race engineers in there going through the data with the drivers after every session. And then back at base, we have people organising to get this circus around. There's probably 27 to 30 people to make this event work as smoothly as we try and make it work. We listen a lot to him and it just helps a lot in our driving and they're good in details and they have good engines and a good chassis and they're really good to learn the young drivers a passion for go-kart. I've been dreaming of this team since I went to Italy for go-karting. It's so cool, everything is working together really well and everything is just amazing. The engines are good, the chassis, they really work together as a team and they're always at the front, so I think it's really good to be there. RFM has an impressive and trusted record. Formula One Team Force India placed their young academy drivers with Ricky in 2012 and British racer Lando Norris went through their doors before impressing in the junior formula and earning his dream move to the top category. Lando Norris just signed for McLaren. He'd be the one that everybody's talking about at the moment because he's just made F1. He was actually here with us testing, just in preparation to get himself warmed up, ready for Melbourne. So that was quite nice to have him back under our roof for a couple of days. Amongst his current aces, Thomas Denbringer and Red Bull junior Harry Thompson both won major honours last year and could have bright futures. Before I was a Red Bull Junior, I was three-time British champion back at home. Under Red Bull Junior, I've been a world champion. This year could be my last year, and uh, you'll see what happens from the end of the year. I hope to become a Formula One driver, and we all start in karting. We want to go up to Formula cars, and then I hope to get my way through to Formula One, and we will see how it happens. It will be a few years before we know if any of Ricky's current charges make the big time, but at RFM, they're getting the best grounding for success. There's definitely a few Formula 1 drivers that have done it and uh, to follow in their steps would be great. My ultimate goal is to get into Formula 1 so I'm going to keep pushing and try my hardest to get there. I hope to go to F4 and then after that go up to F3 and just to the Formula route until F1 is my main goal. Being in F1 has always been my dream. We just concentrate on doing what we do, trying to keep winning and develop these lads coming through to hopefully in two, three, four, five years they're going to be the next Lando Norrises. And that's our job, that's our goal and on the way we'd obviously like to put some more titles on our CV as well.